guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I have a very exciting video for you today because it is always exciting when Tati has a Sephora bag. Now this is a small Sephora bag, but do not be fooled. There's a lot going on in here. Do you ever feel that way when you leave Sephora? You're kind of like gypped. You're like, why did I get a small bag? I spent like $100. Anyway, there's a lot going on here. There was new stuff at Sephora. Right when I walked in the store, I was just like, bam, bam, bam. I was like, oh my gosh, nail polish, liner, gloss, ah. You know, so I grabbed a few items, put them to the test, and we're gonna talk about them today the good, the bad, the ugly. Let's get to it. You may have heard buzz on the new hydrating Glam Glow. I have talked about Glam Glow on my channel in the past. It has been a favorite must have mask of mine. I use the skin clearing version and I love it. And I was a little bit nervous to try this because it is more for hydration and I do tend to have combination skin. However, it is combination that is starting to sway more on the dry side, especially this time of year. My skin gets really dehydrated and it makes makeup a little bit of a challenge to apply. You know, when you get those kind of crinklies, like, like your skin just, ugh, my skin just looks like crap sometimes, basically is what I'm trying to say. And I need to like flood it with some hydration and cross my fingers that that hydration is not gonna make it break out. So uh, in comes the new love of my life as far as skincare is concerned this super expensive mask. It is uh, $69 for 1.7 ounces, but you only need a tiny bit. It's the type of mask that you want to put on at night and wear it to bed. That's how you're going to get the most bang for your buck. You could put it on during the day after cleansing and leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then wipe off the excess. But for me, if you're spending that kind of money, like why not just let eight hours pass by and let it really just sink into your skin. It smells like coconut, like vacation. You just put a thin layer all over the skin. It goes on clear, so it doesn't look like you're going to bed with a crazy mask on. It kind of just looks like a bit of a shiny moisturizer. And yeah, you wake up looking like a new woman or new man or whoever you are watching. Let's just get that. Okay, on my nails right now, I have one of the new Sephora Formula X liquid crystal polishes. They have this displayed right at the front of the store and it's just kind of like, oh, glitter. And it just, it really is a beautiful display. It was hard to choose one polish. The liquid crystals come in 14 different shades. So you really can find anything from purple to hot pink to kind of a tangerine orange to this gorgeous kind of blue with a little bit of a purpley uh, sheen going on in here. This is gorgeous. Uh, I do have this layered on top of a navy polish. If you wear this on its own, it's gonna be more pale. It won't be the same color that you see in the actual bottle, which is the color that I wanted. So I played around with it and I did layer it on top of something darker and it came out looking pretty similar to what you see in the bottle. It's a very metallic finish. It's not glittery, chunky glitter. It goes on really smooth. I really, really like this. I like the wear of it, the feel of it. The only drawback is it does take a little while to dry. So you wanna put this on and then watch The Bachelor or watch a couple of YouTube videos and just don't do anything because you want to let it really set and really dry. But I do like this. It is a hot product. Sephora brand Rouge Infusion Lip Ink. Try saying that five times fast. Rouge Infusion Lips Lip Ink. Rouge Infusion Lip Ink. You will find these at the front of the store in Sephora right now. They are cutely displayed. I love them. It caught my eye. This is a lip stain. Now you guys know, I don't really like lip stains. I think they're usually sticky. They make my lips look smaller. I'm just not a fan. They don't wear off evenly. I just, I could go down the list for a while. But I wanted to give this a try because water is the first ingredient and it's supposed to be not sticky, very lightweight, and the stain is supposed to be really, really intense. And it is. Now I swatched this on the back of my hand in the store and I walked around and swatched other things and then I got a makeup wipe and I was like wiping it off. It would not wipe off. So I was like, okay, this has got to stay on your lips like all day long. This would be really nice to try out. I tried it out. I like it on its own just fine, which is surprising. I got the shade Coral, but what I really like to do is top this with a gloss and then you're like, your lips are looking good all day long. The color stays. If the gloss wears off, just put a little more on. And it doesn't dry out the lips. It is really lightweight. It just, it feels really comfortable. And I think they did a great job with these. It gets a thumbs up. Now let's talk about the item that was actually painfully disappointing because I wanted to like it. All right. 
I know what you're thinking, right? How could you not like something from Marc Jacobs? But this was such a letdown. This is a matte lip gel. They have five different shades. It is supposed to be really comfortable on the lips and matte. And you guys know I love Marc Jacobs. I like the Lolita palette. I cannot shut up about the Genius Gel Foundation. So anything like gel, like that's my trigger word. I'm like, oh, well maybe I will love that. This little guy is $30. So, you know, you really do expect a lot. The packaging, beautiful. The entire Marc Jacobs line, the packaging is stunning. But I'm not just gonna sit around and stare at my makeup all day, I'm actually gonna use it. So I want the product itself to do a good job. And the problem with this is it just really exaggerates any dry patches, any lines on your lips. It just, it's not flattering. The texture is not completely matte either. Uh, the color kind of skips when you put it on and I just don't like the finish or the wear. I was really let down for $30. It's just, it's not worth the money. The shade I chose is Flirt. Beautiful shades, like all five shades I would love to have in my collection just with a different finish and texture. All right, so that is the end of this video. Three thumbs ups, one thumbs down. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye guys.